Right, this is how to remove the paper to show the bird underneath. So this is the final step of how to do a transfer print. So you've got your picture dried all here, it usually is dried overnight. You've done your background and this is dry. So don't try and do this when this is still wet. Get some water, dip it with your fingers and make sure it gets quite wet over the top of your photo. Or your photocopy, should I say. So it's got to be quite moist. And you've got to just let it soak for a bit. You might need to sing a little song in your head and then when the song's finished it'll be ready. <laughs> or chat to a friend. So we've got to see how it's going see through there. That's really what we want over the whole thing. Now your paint shouldn't come off um, if you're careful. But you might need to redo your paint afterwards. We'll see how we go. So I'm letting this soak a bit. And now you're going to rub. Now... I want you to, to learn about this. It's called rubbing like a peach, or as if you're rubbing a peach. So think of it, and don't hack into it with your fingernail and be rough. You've got to be gentle and use that part of your finger, not like that. Okay, so keep your finger wet with water, and you're rubbing the paper away. So what you're actually doing is you're rubbing the backing of the photocopy off, but the actual printed part is going to stick onto your paper. So you've got to keep rubbing away until there's no more white paper comes off. If you rub too hard, you rub it off. Yeah, if, yeah, absolutely. So if you're too um, heavy-handed, you'll rub away the transfer completely. I'll try and get some of the face off because that's always the most exciting part. But you just got to keep on going. See, this was a budgie, which you guys didn't get to do. Now this is a sneaky way of being able to draw something really good because the picture's underneath for you to use as a guideline. So for those of you that find drawing things always disappointing, it never looks as good as you've hoped, this is an amazing cheaty technique for you to be able to do the most stunning paintings because you've got this underneath as a guide. And in the next video it shows you how to paint feathers over the top of your transfer print. But see how that's all coming together? And look how clear it is. Once you've done this and you've got rid of all the white paper, and it would, I'm not doing it perfect, but I'm hurrying up so that you can see, you get your clean brush and you dip it in the gel again and you're just going to do a very light coating over the whole thing. You wouldn't do it while there's still bits of paper on here, but a very perfect light coating and that just seals your transfer print so that it's nice and clear and it won't go cloudy again. So that's the next step. That will take you a while if you do it properly.